Before we can start looking at total average and marginal revenue, let's go ahead and graph these values. When we zoom in, I want to show you what the equations are. Total revenue is always just price times quantity. Average revenue is price times quantity, but divided them by the total quantity. So in this case, it would just be price. Marginal revenue will be the change in total revenue divided by the change in quantity. In this case, since I'm going up by a quantity level of one, it's just the change in total revenue. And not necessarily relevant to this video, but important to know, PED is the change, percent change in quantity over the percent change in price. At our first level of output, total revenue price times quantity is 20 times one, which is 20. Average revenue here is always going to be price, which is 20. And marginal revenue is the change from zero to 20, which is 20. And the PED, I'm not going to calculate a PED value for. In the second set, you can see the math here follows through. Total revenue is 36. Average revenue is, again, just 18. Marginal revenue now is going to be 16. And we get a PED calculation of 10. I'm going to fly through the rest of these values for you. Uh, you'll see the video pause here in a second, so you can check your math if you want. Uh, you'll see a, a quick freeze screen grab, and then we'll move forward and graph. Since I had done the data on the front side of the worksheet and the graph on the back, I wanted to put the two together now for you. Uh, the first graph I want to highlight is total revenue, and you can see that the total revenue curve goes up, reaches an apex, and then comes, starts coming back down. Uh, where that corresponds with the demand curve is really important. The demand curve, you will see, is a downward sloping curve. Uh, that is because the law of demand says as price goes down, quantity demanded goes up. As we've seen, that's also our uh, average revenue curve, the, the data we've graphed. And then the marginal revenue curve will slip below the horizontal axis, the quantity axis. And importantly, where that goes below the axis, that quantity level, will be the same point where our demand curve is unit elastic and the total revenue curve hits its peak. That relationship between those three curves is very important and has strong applicability to our study of market structures later. So I have my students answer the questions that are now on the right, and it's relevant to review and reflect. Um, in the elastic region of the demand curve, as price falls, total revenue increases. It's really important because on a paper three, you could be asked about PED and how that affects total revenue. In the inelastic region, as price falls, total revenue decreases. Um, so it's always good to be at unit elastic. Total revenue is maximized when PED is equal to one, and marginal revenue is equal to zero. Those are very important concepts, again, moving forward for your paper three. Okay, while you will likely not be asked to draw these three curves necessarily for a paper three, or probably never in a paper one, they're very important to know for understanding the relationship between cost, revenue, and profits, and market structures for your understanding of theory of the firm. Thanks, best of luck.